<laughs> the basket guy still shaking. On to Takumbo. That's a two-pointer. Here's Chamberlain. Kicks it out to Allen. Pass to Bargnani. And a miss there on the triple. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Bulls lead by 11. The Bulls. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by the Warriors. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings. Chicago came ready to play. They went to work early at both ends of the floor, going on a 9-0 run to jump out in front. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're... up here in the second. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside or did Coach have some new ideas for them? So with Kobe sitting on the bench here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Shaquille O'Neal is out there with Garnett. Then there's Lewis. Then it's Morant and it's Pettit in at the three. Leonard, that's for two. And that one goes long. The Bulls leading by 11. Morant looking around. Garnett, and it's slammed in by Garnett. And how about the power there from KG? He can fly with the best of them. Golden State moving it around. Rose against Morant. And plucked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. There's the pass to O'Neal. Back to Morant. Here's Pettit. Here's the three. Good. And the nice the assist three. from Morant. Morant's got his fifth assist in this one. Rose passes to Leonard. The kick out to Rose. Let's it go with the three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Morant passes to Lewis. Back to Morant. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor and the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. Shot from the inbound. Bill Chamberlain with the rebound. Warriors trail by 16. Here's Leonard. Garnett with the block. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Morant against Rose. Morant is to O'Neal. Yeah, Morant's got a great understanding of the game. He can move like very few can in that pick and roll set. John ja Morant impressed as a rookie, but in 2022, he really started blowing the roof off. He's been doing some tremendous things. And how about a 52-point game in February that year? Only 12 of those points came from threes. That's a lot of buckets. And again, no good by Golden State. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Who is outside? Shaq down low. He's covered by Rose. And O'Neal gets it to go. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. To the paint, here's Chamberlain, and it's Chamberlain finishing it off. Assisted. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Moran passes to Garnett. And stolen by Chamberlain. Pass to Drexel. On the wing, Thompson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. A shot off that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Steve Kerr checked in for Drexel. Here's O'Neal. And check with the slam. And the big guy is doing big 
things offensively. O'Neal knows his team counts on him to rack up. Two points. minutes remaining in the third. Passes it to Kirk. Two minutes. This one for three. A rebound by Garnett. Garnett's got six rebounds now in the game. Morant passes to Garnett. There's the three. Another three for Chicago. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. To the middle, here's O'Neal. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got assist number seven for him tonight. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. And he lobs it up toward the rim, and Garnett misses. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. For three, Kerr, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Three. And that's his specialty. Kerr is out there to space the floor for his teammates and knock down triple. Morant passes to Garnett. Outside, Lewis. Nail from three-point land. Lewis has got six points. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Thompson for three. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. Now here's Morant. Pass to O'Neal. Lewis with the three. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. And now they are firing on all the cylinders. That shot puts three more onto their lead the Warriors as we head to the fourth. And so it's the Chicago Bulls ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And Morant's got the ball here for Chicago. So with Drexler sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Thompson. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Chamberlain. Then it's Kerr, and it's Rose in at the point. And Chamberlain with the stop. And you can tell Kerr has a good sense for the floor, which helps him find a ready shooter to deliver the ball. First Fouling like that isn't how you get back timeout, in the game. Timeout. timeout called the Warriors. Warriors. Shaq is really having a good game here. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is a full youth team. against Kidd to the inside and to Takumbo to the paint back to Chamberlain five on the clock and here's Bargnani outside gets it to go from beyond the arm and perimeter scoring I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime and you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. The Bulls shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Now the pass to Chamberlain. The kick out to Kumbo. He gets that one. And this is an area where Giannis wants to improve. I think the key for him 
to continue to grow is to shoot those wow. with confidence. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Pass to Barnyan. Outside Bryant. Allen against Durant. Tries again. Out to Kobe. With the drive. And he makes good on the way. Kobe, you Kobe. see the number of moves Kobe has. More than capable of creating for himself with that hand. And the jam Kevin by Durant. Kevin Durant. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Allen. Kid with the steal. And stolen by Chamberlain. Allen for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Chamberlain. Ray Chamberlain got his third assist on the night. Warriors have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Gilmore passes to Durant. From deep. Rebound by the Bulls. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Kobe. Lays it up off the ball. Bryant's got four this quarter. Such body control from Bryant. Able to take some hits there on the way up. Inside. And he makes it look easy. Dunking it hard with one hand. Assisted by. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Bryant. He kicks it to Chamberlain. Back to Kobe. Offensive rebound. Kid with the steal. And now it's Kid running. He can go all the way. And the rejection by Giannis. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anadokounmpo. And stolen by Chamberlain. Kobe kicks to Allen. Kobe trying to break free. That's good from Allen on the assist by Bryant. Yeah. Allen's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bulls. Here's Sampson. And the rejection by Giannis. Now Bryant. Two minutes remaining in the game. 158 left to play here in the fourth. Over Kidd. Bryant can't get it to go. The Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Down low, here's Sampson. That one, no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Outside Bryant, and there's the drive. Lightning quick off the bounce. Bryant, one of the better athletes to ever play this game. Bryant against Kidd. On the arc, and he's good on the Jason three ball. Kidd. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Bulls. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. Bryant, it's a wide-open look, trains the three-pointer. And you can sense that these fans... These players, they are ready to celebrate. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this, they might be in a different situation right now. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Hit against Kobe. Kid. Sampson kicks to Kid. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Five to shoot. Second chance shot. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. And here's Kobe from the arc. And no good. And so Chicago takes this one in by a big margin.
It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they start...